Okay, for this project, I'm using a size H, 5mm crochet needle. And then I'm using this regular four ply yarn. I'm using Caron, simply soft, but uh, any four ply yarn will work just fine. And I'm just going to make it to fit like a standard little Kleenex pack. So I think they're all probably just about this size. So I'm going to start with. Chain of 11. Okay. And then you want to single crochet in the second chain from the hook. Like that. And then we'll single crochet in every stitch for the length of the chain. Just one in each stitch. And then when you get down here to the end, the last one, you want to put three single crochets in that last stitch. three and then we're just going to turn our work and we're going to be working on the bottom side of the chain so I'm just going to turn it and then we're going to do one single crochet in each stitch across the bottom here so right here is where we put our three in so we want to make sure we jump over to the next one and put one and then one in each stitch across and right now would be a good time to Hide your tail back here if you want to. Okay, and then when you get down here to your last stitch on this end, um, right here, my last stitch on this side of the chain, I want to put three single crochets in that stitch. One, two, and three. So that's the end of that round. So if you want to put a stitch marker here so you can keep track of where the beginning is, I'm just going to use a piece of yarn. This is what, this way we always know when our round ends and begins. Just like that. So now I'm just going to jump over here to the first single crochet and do a single crochet. Oops. And then I'm going to do one single crochet again in each stitch across. And then when I get down here on this end, um, where I put three single crochets in that one stitch down here on the end, one, two, three, in these three single crochets, I want to put two single crochets in each one. So two in this one, two in this one, and two in this one. So there's two in that one. Two in that one, and then two in this one. That's going to make the ends a little bit fatter for us. And then I want to just continue doing one single crochet in each stitch after that across this side of the chain. And then when I get down here on this end where I put the three single crochets in each stitch, I want to go ahead and put 
two in each of them, two single crochets, just like we did on the opposite side. There's two in that one. Two in that one. Two in that one. And now we're back at the beginning. So if you used a stitch marker, you'd want to pull it up so you know where you started. Now I'm just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And just like this. And just one around the corners here. And I want to do this, just keep going around with one single crochet in each stitch for a few rows. I'm not quite sure how many. And then we'll have to make a split in the center of it for our, so we can pull the clean excess out. So I'm going to go around here a few times. I'm just going to keep going around doing one single crochet in each stitch just like this. And when I get back to my stitch marker, I'm just going to move it up and go around again with one single crochet in each stitch. Just like that, and then I'll just move it up. And then I'll just continue going around again. So I'm going to do this and I'll let you know how many rows I did and before I start the split part of the bag in just one second. Okay, I did five rows of a single crochet. Now what we want to do is we want to leave a slit in the middle. So I need to get over here to the, the fifth stitch from this side and right here is where I um, was my stitch marker and I pulled it out because we're not going to need it anymore. So I want to do a slip stitch over five spaces. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. And that's where I want to be. So now I want to chain one and I want to turn my work. So now for the slip part we're going to be chain going around Chaining one, turning, going around, instead of connecting it with a continual round. So that chain one is going to count as a single crochet. So you want to go ahead and go over here to the stitch, the next one, and do a single crochet. And then the next one, single, and one single in every stitch around. like this. And when you get round to this side, I'm going to single crochet up to where our other stitches start. Right here, we want to go into this stitch because there's, and right here is where we put a stitch in, in the, uh, when we first started this, right here. So that's the end. We don't want to connect them. We want to chain one and turn and go back around again turn in this one with another row of single crochet and this is what's creating the slit because we're not connected them just 
So all the way around again. to the side. And you want to make sure you put a single crochet in that first that chain one there because it counts as a stitch but sometimes it's tight. But if you want to make sure you get it because if you don't it'll make your workbook all crooked. There we go. Now we're not going to connect them. We're just going to chain one, turn our work, and go again. And this is what we're going to do for a while now. It's creating the slit of the for the clean excess to come out. Just going around, and when we get back around, when I go around here and get back around here, I'm just going to make sure I single crochet into that chain one, and then I'm going to chain one again and turn and keep going around, go back around again. And I'm not quite sure how many rows I'm going to do this for, so I'll let you know here in just a second. Okay, I did a total of 12 rows from where we started doing the, the split. So from right here, I did 12 rows up. And you can always take your pack and measure and see if that's enough for you. But I think that worked out okay for me. Because I'm, you want to leave, do some more rows at the end here. So I made it around on my 12th row of the split section and I did my last single crochet over here so instead of chaining one and turning I'm gonna end the split right now and I'm just gonna come right over here to this stitch over here you wanna try to go into the chain one over here and it's kinda tight and I'm gonna do a single crochet and then I'm just gonna do one single crochet all the way around and now we're going to be working in rounds of single crochet again you don't need a stitch marker because you know that the split is going to be the beginning because that's where we started so just like this and since I did five rounds. If you remember we did five rounds of single crochet down here. I'm going to do five up here. All the way around. So this is my first one that I'm doing. It's going to go all the way around. And just like we did back in the beginning. like this and then when I get to this split section right here I'm gonna know that that's the beginning and that would end one round so but I'm just gonna keep going with one single crochet and I'm gonna do five rounds total so I'm working on round two now so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my five rounds I just did my five rows of single crochet up here, my five rounds. Now I want to make a flap right here that's going to fold over and button there to the back so we can open it and put Kleenexes in and out of it. So I'm back around to where I started because here's my split. So now I just want to kind of lay it out. I'm just going to eyeball it and if you want to count to do it exact you can. but. I'm gonna just do the back and forth um, from here to here just to make a flap. So I'm just gonna keep crocheting over here to this corner. And I'm just I'm gonna eyeball it like I said. Just okay. I'm gonna 
gonna go to right about here. So here's the corner one. I'm not gonna go exactly in that. I'm gonna go to one right before it. You can tell what I'm doing there. And then I'm gonna chain one and turn my work. And I'm gonna start in, not this one. This one is the one we start in. And I'm gonna single crochet back again. Back this way, over here to this side. So there's the corner one. I'm going to do the one right before. If you can kind of tell. I didn't quite go turn the corner on it. Chain one and turn. Go back again. This one right. Not this one. This one. Single crochet across again. And now we're just creating a little flap. And again, also you want to make sure you go into that chain one right here so we don't, we're not crooked like that. And now you can kind of judge how big you want your flap. So it's going to fold over right here like this. So I'm going to do, and we got to leave room for a buttonhole. So I'm going to chain one and turn. And I'm going to go again with one single crochet in each stitch and then make sure you do that chain one okay I'm going to chain one and turn so now I'm going to do a buttonhole. I did three rows up here at the top and now this fourth row is going to be a buttonhole. So you want to find your middle stitch. Yours might be different than mine, but... Okay. I'm at, I have 11. So... I want to count over. I have 12, I'm sorry. So, 6 is going to be my middle one. So, that's my middle stitch right here. Yep, the 6th and the 7th are my middle stitches, actually. So, if I mark them off, I should have 5 on this side and 5 on this side. And I do. So, I'm just going to mark the 6th and 7th stitch with this pin. And you find your middle two stitches. And you can eyeball it if you want just to get it. Just to get it about in the center. So, Okay, and when I get over to my middle two stitches, I'm not going to single crochet in them. I'm going to, since I have two middle stitches, I'm going to do a chain two. And then I'm going to skip them two stitches into single crochet into the one after. And that forms a buttonhole. It's really easy. And then I'm just going to continue single crochet and across. Like that. Chain one. Turn. And then another row of single crochet. And when I get to my chains that I made here, I just want to single crochet in each of them. And then continue single crocheting, crossed, like that. And I'm going to do one more row, so I'm going to chain one and turn. And I'm going to go across one more time with the row of single crochet. And then I'm going to tie off. Yeah. 
And then I'm going to sew a button on the other side. Okay, right here I'll just tie it off. And then I'll have to hide my tail. And here's my buttonhole, so we're just going to find a button. And I'll just sew it right here. And then this will fold over the button. And let's see. I think it's going to work out okay. So, let me hide my tail with my yarn needle. I might try to find something to decorate it up with on the front. If you want to, you can do that. And a button. I have one. probably just use a wooden one or something some type of button but I'm just gonna sew a button on right here probably put my Kleenexes in first here and then figure out how hold it over and then sew a button right up here so I'm gonna sew my button on real quick okay I got my button sewed on and one other thing I want to do is put a little um, um, key ring on it I don't know, I got where I got the set. I came, I probably came off an old purse or something. Um, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna make a little loop for it. So I did a chain of 12. And then I want a single crochet, second stitch from the hook. And then one in every stitch. I think you can get them clips though at Walmart. I always find old purses and jewelry and stuff at auctions and resale shops and that's what I use. I repurpose it all. Okay, and then when you get to the end, single crochet in at once, just like all the way down. And then you just want to pull out a long string so we can tie, sew it on with. Like that. And I'm just going to put my key ring on there like that. And I'm going to sew it like that. So I'm going to use my yarn needle. First thing I'm going to do is sew it. I'm going to go ahead and sew it together right here at the end, just a couple stitches. Like that, and then I want to sew it to, just sew it, I'm going to sew it up here to this, actually right about here to this corner of the bag. And I'm just going to sew it using my yarn needle on the inside of the bag I'll have to hide this other tail too but just make a few stitches to hold it on that that way you can hook it to like a kid's your kid's backpack or something so they if they aren't feeling good okay I'll hide that tail in a minute okay one other thing I'm gonna do but you don't have to you can be done now if you want 
I got this ribbon. I got this at Walmart the other day. I thought it was really pretty. Um, I'm just going to sew it on the front here. You can make flowers for it if you wanted to, or you could leave it plain, or you could use another type of ribbon. But I'm just going to use regular um, thread and needle to sew it on. If you decide to use ribbon, just use thread and needle and just put a few stitches in it to hold it. Hold it on if you want to do this. You don't have to do this. But I'm going to go ahead and just sew it around here and I'll let you see it in just a minute. Okay, I finished sewing my ribbon on. This is what I came up with. And you decorate yours any way that you want. You can leave it plain. You can put flowers on it, ribbon on it, whatever. Just make it however you want. And this is going to be, you can use it for a keychain. It would be great, like I said, for a backpack for a kid to take with them to school or whatever. And this is how you change out the Kleenex packages. I think it turned out pretty good. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you would, you can check out my Facebook page. And post all your crochet stuff on there. Everybody would like to see them. And until next time, have a good day.